much have, how deep I have to dig for this. <laughs> this was the question many San Franciscans were wondering this week. But wouldn't you be asking the same thing if there was $100 under your feet? Between the blue signs. Hmm. Any ideas? Like handicap no. Signs. The two handicap signs. Oh, oh, good idea. Oh. Okay. The hunt was on as people flooded to Chrissy Fields from all ends of the city in search of some hidden cash. Uh, I saw it posted on one of the websites a week ago or two weeks ago, and then it just pops up whenever they, he posts something. These posts come in the form of clues from the official Hidden Cash Twitter page, where it is described as an anonymous social experience for good. These clues lead people to places where money has been tucked away, waiting for its soon-to-be owners. What would you do with the money? Oh my gosh, you know, I have an after-school program and a summer program I want to help, but I also want to help my family. So you, you really are giving back, that's what he wanted. Absolutely, and I'm a teacher as well, so you know, anytime I can help give back to my family or, my, or the kids that I work with, definitely, for sure. You just have to dig faster. Yes. <laughs> but it would take more than just digging, as Rob Taylor and his daughter Drew soon discovered. Oh, I just dragged my feet through the sand, because I think that's what they, they were doing last weekend in L.A., and they're, they're usually buried like this deep. So, yeah, I just kind of got lucky. But luck really was on their side, as it wasn't long before their profit on the day rose after finding a second container full of cash. According to CBS, there were only 14 of these containers hidden. Combine that with the large size of Chrissy Fields Beach and the small size of these containers, and it was going to be a challenge for anyone. With a little luck, even you could find some buried treasure. Reporting from San Francisco, Julian Gaskins, State of Events.